Last song that was actually a song on that bitch is called Turn and Twist, and the beat hard as fuck. But I kind of don't like the song because Nav hopped into like gunner flow again. And I don't know if it's just the beats that's like calling a, a gunner spirit from Nav. So like when he <laughs> go into the studio, <laughs> he just sound like gunner on this bitch for real. So what's the deal? Uh, today we reviewing Nav new album. That shit called Emergency Tsunami. Second release of 2020. He go keep going crazy. I saw a video and he was building like a home studio. So I guess he putting that bitch to use for real. <laughs> we got some guest appearances from Lil Baby, Young Thug, Sa Baby, uh, Gunna, Lil Key, and yeah. Things I like about Nav is he really good at making hooks and he always finds like the right pocket it can be in the club and you rock to it or just play it like he makes songs that's good at any time for real like, you play in the car you can play the game listen to that shit in the background type shit and this album got 14 songs on it and the uh, intro and the outro i'm not gonna count so we just gonna like go through the 12 of them the first song is friends what the fuck is it it's friends and family and it was a good way to start off the album it wasn't like nothing too crazy it's a song that i feel like other people would fuck with but it's just like oh this is cool type shit for me second song on this bitch was young wheezy and this song was cool but it wasn't really nothing like what makes this body of work different than your last body of work is this just an extension of what you did before or is this shit like mixtape where you just putting any type of song on the shit or is it really a body of work that all goes together when people say they're dropping the albums you expect that type of like quality and cohesiveness and this song sounded more like a gunner throwaway than a nav song all right for the next song we had nasty and that bitch was fire once again he came with a gunner type of flow but that shit was hidden when the hook came in it made me automatically want to like save the song so definitely go listen to that before all the other songs next song was repercussions most of the beats on the album i didn't really have a problem with but this beat stood out to me for some type of reason nav once again found the perfect pocket and just he ripped it he ripped the song the song low-key probably gonna be my favorite song on the album I like the beat, Young Thug is on it, and the hook was perfect, shit, I fuck with it. The next song was uh, Vediment Socks or some shit like that. Vediment, Vediment, Vediment. Uh, the beat was crazy, but I could live without the song. The next song on this bitch was Don't Need Friends featuring Lil Baby. Make money like magic, got tricks up my sleeve. I can achieve more than they dream. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, the hook, the hook was hard as hell. But uh, this was a different flow for Nav. I kind of like the song a lot, low key. He still got some of them like corny bars, but it's mixed with some fire bars. So if you need a second song to listen to, go listen to that bitch. Just because he got a little baby on it and niggas fuck with a little baby. Next song on that bitch was Make It Right Back. For different people, they might like the song more than me. It's like one of those songs that might grow on you, but Rip Nick, I got blue strips. Give me nothing but head like B this. <laughs> Uh, there's some catchy bars in there every once in a while, so I, I might fuck with that song later on, I ain't gonna lie. The next song on that bitch is Trains featuring Lil' Key. I ain't gonna say that this song not it, but it's definitely not for me. The song is slow and fast at the same time. Now, Lil' Key fuck with Lil' Key a lot, so I don't know why I don't like this song, but I hate songs that are slow and fast at the same time. It's like the beat starts slow, and then he raps fast, or like vice versa. Like when the beats get fast, they start rapping slow so like i don't the next song on this bitch is do your deed that bitch is fire that bitch start off so hard it instantly drew me into the song and through my first listen i only saved like two songs and this was the song that i saved like right off the back just off the do you do like that nigga they came in so hard like side baby really came in hard next song and i bitch was dropping tears oh and this song was just like trains it it was missed for me i ain't gonna cap like i could live without the song for real i don't remember anything from the song at all and the shit was cool but i ain't really fuck with it like that uh next song on that bitch was modest and that shit was low-key kind of mid i ain't gonna lie whole click looking <laughs> Wait, what this nigga say? Whole click looking like dry. Getting to the cheese like cottage. Whole click looking like dried out toothpaste. Everybody stay solid. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Last song that was actually a song on that bitch is called Turn and Twist. And the beat hard as fuck. But I kind of don't like the song because 
Nav hopped into like gunner flow again. And I don't know if it's just the beach that's like calling a, a gunner spirit from Nav soul. Like when he <laughs> go into the studio, <laughs> he just sound like gunner on this bitch for real. I don't, I don't fuck with that. I fuck with gunner, but I don't fuck with Nav trying to sound like gunner. So my final verdict on this album, emergency, tsunami, Nav. I give this a cool 7 out of 10. The album is not bad, but it's not great. It sounds like a mixtape with an intro and an outro. If I was listening to this album in my personal time, I'd probably save like 3 or 4 songs off of it at most. So, that's not bad, but that's not good. But with that said, that's the end of the video. If y'all fuck with the reviews, like the video, please. Make a comment. Say that you messed with it. Comment the album you want us to review. Engage with us and we can make better content for y'all. As simple as that. Anyway, I'm nonchalant. I'm out this bitch.